Hey guys, what bomb it to be guys? We're gonna be reacting to it. Jessica. Guys, we're gonna be reacting to he tried opening the Bible and the Quran randomly. The result will shock you. Guys, let's go straight into this. I wanted to know what is the meaning of life. Um, why are we here? The purpose and everything. So so then the month of Ramadan came. It's the fasting month for the Muslims. And I thought, okay, you know, since if I ever want to know this lifestyle is gonna suit me. I should really give fasting a shot, maybe if I give up halfway, and then that's it. So I tried to fast, and surprisingly, I did. The whole 30 days of fasting, and uh, somewhere nearing the end of Ramadan, I had a dream. This is really actually the turning point. I dreamt that I was walking towards someone who seated in the middle of the living room along a hallway I have to walk I was walking towards him and he was sitting there patiently smiling he had this radiant light I could tell that you know he's just a person and a kind soul and he was just smiling at me directly and he said brother when are you going to be part of the family and I woke up ah uh, initially I thought you know this been studying too much about the religion, you know, I might be getting my head too far in that uh, it's probably acting out in my dreams. But on the same day, I had a friend call me out for dinner. His name is Ibrahim. And that's when I had dinner with him. And he said, hey, I heard that you've, you've been going to that Muslim convert center, studying about the religion and understanding about Islam. So... When are you planning to be a Muslim, brother? So I thought, this must be a coincidence, you know. Just when I had a dream and my friend asked me out for dinner and he asked me the same question, I was still quite stubborn thinking that this is just pure coincidence. And I went on with my daily life, but the same dream happened again. And this time I remember the exact day and time. It was a Saturday morning around 9.30. I had the same dream and I woke up. I woke up and I said to myself, no, this can't be happening again, you know, it must be something. Or someone is telling me something. And uh, I decided at that point of time to test God. I said a prayer before I started to ask for, for directions in life, you know. So I said, I sat down, I just closed my eyes. I put my hands together like this and said, Dear God, I know you exist and you're the most powerful and you can make anything possible because I truly and fully believe in your supremacy and power. You can most certainly show me the way in life and the truth and I seek your infinite wisdom and power to show me the way. Please, with all my heart, I sincerely seek, I seek your help in this. Please, let me know if, you know, is Islam truly the religion for me? Or should I just go back to being who I was? I said I'm going to test you, unfortunately. I'm going to take a Bible and a Quran and put it beside me. I'm going to randomly flip those pages three times. And the first thing that I see, it has to be crystal clear a message for me saying to me, this is the truth, this is the way, this is who you should follow. It has to be that simple. So I'm going to start with the Bible because that's where I started. You know I was baptized, so I'm going to start with the Bible. So I picked up the Bible and I randomly just flipped the page. It wasn't the first page, it was somewhere in between. And it just did not tell me a very clear picture. I had to decipher and to read everything in between and come to a conclusion and all. I said, okay, you know, this is not what I want. I want something clear, like this is it, you know. So I close the book and I randomly flip the next page, like somewhere in between a few more pages down. It's totally random. And again, I did not see an answer. So I did three times, three times and I wasn't given an answer. I put the book aside and you know what? It's time to give the Quran a chance to tell me. Next thing I did was I randomly closed my eyes and opened the book. And the first thing, the first thing I saw was this verse from Surah Al-Hajj, verse 54. 
ഫയോമിനുഹിതലഹുലൂബുഹും So basically it says, And so those who were given knowledge, we know that it is the truth from your Lord, and therefore believe in it, and their hearts humbly submit to it. And indeed is Allah, the God of those who have believed in it, to a straight path. I thought maybe it's just still a coincidence, you know. I was kind of like in a state of denial. And uh, so I closed the book and I randomly opened up another page of the book and it's totally from another chapter altogether. My eyes set on the next verse and it's surah which is chapter 41 and verse 53. ഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫിഫി
if we want to be honest with ourselves, I think exactly. it's They're... either you are right or right. Because we Christians believe that if you don't believe Jesus died and resurrected, or if you don't believe Jesus is the Son of God and your personal Lord and Savior, you won't make heaven. Mm. Now, that is what you believe in. But that is not what another person would believe in. That is what Christians believe in. That is what Christians believe in. So, like, it's, it's either Christians are right or Muslims are right, saying Muslims believe that you have to worship God. Without no partner, I don't feel Christians have partners with God, to be honest. I would say this as uh, Christians, we don't have partners with God. We believe we, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to my Father except through me. So, we pray through Jesus to communicate to God because He is the sacrificial lamb. Mm. Mm, yes. <laughs> but like still remains okay fine according to him he decided to test god and then he checked the bible what he saw to him was complicated but then he opened the quran and it was like god was speaking to him or should i say allah was communicating with him rather well i don't know i, I just would yeah. believe that it's yeah. a mere coincidence <laughs> because you know like i'm just saying i'm just saying we all know like religions are really complicated Guys. but like i feel to me i really feel like he wanted to go down the islam way if no. not no that's that's how i feel guys you get some opinions involved and this is like i was like this once in a while when i was super protective of my religion and to be honest like, i i feel we are sort of watching this with open mind like what are the possibilities like just watch it with open mind like i don't know how to it when you're having this resistance that now nah, islam is not the way but what if it is that's the, i'm not judging i'm not no, trying. i'm not saying i'm judging but like you're having this kind of blockage like it cannot be the way but what if it is well this is the same thing i told my <laughs> muslim friend like he was like i was like i'm willing to listen and like view your point of view like see where you're coming from but like try to see where i'm coming from but like just think about it what if it is what if it's not guys we'll see you next time like share subscribe my channel we'll see you next time guys